yo yo YouTube this is Chad here coming to you guys from honeycomb fingerboards coming at you guys with a little update video I know I've been saying it for weeks now guys and today is the day I'm grabbing all the decks out from the garage the ones that need to be hand sanded heading out to our usual little spot and then getting those things hand sanded so that all of them are ready to go I'm going to get some kingpin holes and some countersink holes tapped into those things. And then I'm running to Home Depot. And I'm going to grab a shit ton of clear coat. And I'm getting those things cleared up tonight. So, I'm not really going to waste any time. It's already about like 4.30. But it's like super nice outside. It's like 60 degrees outside. So, I really don't care if it starts getting dark or whatever. Like, fuck it. I'll just head into the garage. So, I'm going to go ahead and head out to the garage and grab those decks and get started on shit. So, yeah, I'll see you guys probably at our usual spot. So, later. Alright, so I've decided again to go into our normal spot. I've got my longboard and my backpack and all my sanding stuff in the backpack. And I'm going to go to a spot in downtown Orlando for you guys just to be a little bit scenic so I'm gonna go ahead and head there now it's about like a 20 minute drive so I should have just enough flight left to be able to get all these done but I'm gonna head on out there and yeah show you guys a little bit of downtown Orlando so I'll catch you guys whenever we're there later What's happening guys, so I got my spot here, down here in Lake Eola, right next to the, the big ass bitch that sleeps in the grass, but, so I got my decks here, so I'm just pretty much just chilling next to the lake, just sanding up some decks, I didn't bring my other camera just cause I figured it'd get a little awkward, so, I'm gonna just go ahead and start sanding up these, so I'll check in with you guys afterwards. So we're about like four down. It's dark as shit out. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish these here or if I'm gonna have to go home and finish them in the garage, which I believe is gonna happen because I'm not gonna be a bitch and not finish them. So yeah, that's just a little update on that. Dark as fuck. Alright, so I literally just had a deck fall in the fucking storm drain. So, I packed up my shit and I'm heading out of here before it gets too late. I'm gonna make one last little pass. Lake Eola. Show you guys kind of cool spots. That right there is pretty dope. Right. Super nice out tonight. Feels good, no clouds. City looks hella pretty. All right, so I made it around Lake Eola. So my car is literally right over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I still have, well, let's see, two decks to sand up since one of them fell in a damn sewage drain. So, two decks of sand up still, or I guess rough sand, I still gotta like fine sand the rest of them. So, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the garage where I can get some, some light on me and be able to work. So, I'll catch back up with you guys whenever we're there. All right, so. Made it back home guys, back out in the garage, so I got a little bit of light here. I'm gonna try to move this light kind of over here. I got myself a, a little chair so I can, I can sit down and finish sanding these decks, but I'm gonna try to move this light over here so I can be able to see what I'm doing. But I've got these four um, 
just where I've got it done with the uh, the rougher grit sandpaper. I'll, I'll take a picture and kind of show you what those look like. And then I've got two that I still have to do with the rough grit, and then I'll finish all six of these up with the uh, the nice nice fine grit foamy pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down, get comfortable, and start to sand in these decks. So not too bad. So got my two decks here that I still have to get done with the rough grit. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the camera down and get sanding up on these. So see you guys after. All right, so there we go guys. Got all six of our decks all rough sanded up. Took a picture of them with my phone so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. I get like a rough, rough rounding with like the, uh, a, you know, the rougher grit sandpaper. And then I'll take the finer grit um, foamy stuff here and then just kind of smooth it all up. So I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But I'm gonna go ahead and just round all of these guys off for these six decks. So catch you guys after. Boom! So there we go guys. Got our decks all sanded up. Got them all fine sanded, so these are all ready for clear, or not clear coating yet. They need uh, counter sinking, that's what I meant to say, and uh, kingpin holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the drill bit in the drill press to the um, 1 8 inch and get all those tapped in. So, so here we go. So there we go guys, as you can see, got the kingpin holes and countersink holes finished up on all the decks, so these are now officially ready to get clear coated. So I'm gonna head on out to the store, grab some clear coat. I don't believe Home Depot is open still, but I think Walmart carries this shit. So we'll see if they have any in stock, and if they do, uh, we'll get these Lay down with the first coat. Alright, so we're back guys. Got the clear coat and it's the next day. I pitched out. Didn't finish the decks. Honestly, it just got way too damn late. It was like midnight by the time I got home and I still had to like put a deck in the mold and clear coat all these decks. Like I knew I was gonna have like at least like 30, 45 minutes worth of work. So, I called it a night because I had work in the morning. So, I'm back here today and I'm gonna finish up the work from yesterday. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just string up our decks and get those things ready for clear coating. But first, what I wanna do is just go ahead and put this deck in the mold so that way I'm not like breathing in paint fumes while I'm working on this one. So. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this deck in the mold and then get these all strung up and get them ready for clear coating. So I'm gonna grab a glove and set the camera down and get that thrown in the mold. So see you guys after. All right, so there we go guys. Got my, got my glove on. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some glue on this deck, which is gonna be a zebra wood. This always looks really sick, especially whenever it's like a, um, a horizontal ply because you can actually see like the different colors of the grain in in the side whenever it gets all sanded but it also looks pretty sick for a bottom ply so got some zebra wood and all maple on the inside and then some more of that like light blue turquoise color so gonna go ahead and lay down some glue and get this guy in the mold so here we go There we go guys, got our deck in the mold and make sure to put the graphic on top so we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in our press over here. Boom, so there we go guys. Our deck is in the mold and in the press. So now what I'm gonna work on is getting our decks 
strung up and get those things ready to get clear coated. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. All right, so as you can see, got all of our decks strung up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on a mask considering that I got nine decks here. So it's probably gonna be a lot of fumes in the air. So not trying to kill myself and I'm probably not gonna film either cause I don't want anything landed on the lens here. So I'll just check back in with you guys after I get the first coat laid down on all these. All right, so there we go guys. Got all the decks clear coated up. So I'm gonna show you guys kinda what they look like after the first coat cause man, do they look good. Like all the colors from the flies and stuff are just starting to pop. But I know after the fourth coat, all these decks are gonna look fucking amazing. But I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. I mean, that fucking red just looks so sick. And this black one, like what the fuck? Especially with the plies, like the red on the inside of this all maple. You can barely even see it. I'm probably gonna switch the lens real quick just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But God, man, these decks are looking fucking fresh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change the lens to show you guys. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of do this like one by one just so I don't accidentally mess any up. But like this, this all maple with the red on the inside. Let's see if I can get it. Like, fuck, that looks so sick. Jesus. I can already just see it now with just like some fucking, some Black River trucks and like some red wheels on that. Looking nasty. Let's see what else do I want to pick up. This light blue one here, that middle ply. Mmm. So fresh. So yeah guys, these are gonna sit here and dry till tomorrow at least, if not more, cause, well I mean it's pretty dry right now just cause it's cold as fuck. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can do for today though. I got our deck in the mold over here. So just gonna let those sit till tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys once again for tuning in. You know, I always appreciate all the support that you guys give me and all the feedback that I've been getting, especially here on, on YouTube. That's like what I love the most is seeing comments and shit down there. But yeah, thank you guys once again for tuning in though. And as always, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it though. And until next time, Later, y'all. One last look. One last look.